Macadamia nuts that drop to the orchard floor along the tree row are out of the normal harvest zone for conventional finger wheel harvesters. That's why harvest aids such as blowers are used to move nut from under the tree towards the pickup zone. Sweepers are a later innovation, also used to move nut from out underneath the trees. Over time, growers have observed signs of soil loss and root exposure underneath the tree rows after years of blower use. Sweepers are perceived by the industry to move less soil, but this has never been confirmed. Soil scientist Justine Cox from New South Wales DPI, in collaboration with the macadamia industry, wanted to find out just how much soil was being moved as a result of these two harvest practices. We set up an experiment to measure how much soil was moved underneath the tree row by blowers and sweepers. We found that blowers moved more soil than sweepers. Blowers moved 2.5 tonne a hectare per year, while sweepers moved 1.3 tonne a hectare per year at an 8x4 spacing. The pattern was different too. Blowers moved soil a lot further away from the tree row, while sweepers created a depression in the sweepers' path. This steady loss of soil under the trees is not sustainable. There's a need to change management practices if we are to continue to use these types of harvest methods. I've had experience with both. My first harvester had a blower on it and it always concerned me the amount of material that was being moved by the blower. I then changed my harvester to a lower impact harvester and put a sweeper on that and was delighted with the difference in the material that was being moved under the tree. The important things with using a sweeper is the speed of the harvester. You have to go fast enough to, to flip the nuts out uh, and at the same time have a speed on the sweeper head which isn't going to scour the dirt uh, material that's underneath the trees. Most of our trees we've got smother grass growing up to the butt so we keep it well mown and we find that the sweeper works very successfully over the smother grass picking the nuts out and throwing them into the uh, front of the harvester. The main advantage of smother grass on this farm is the speed with which we can get back into the orchard after rain. We've never been delayed more than 48 hours after significant rain events before we can get the harvester back in. The other advantage is uh, the smother grass means that we've got very little soil loss from, from the orchard and because we keep it well mown we actually have no downside in terms of getting the nuts out of the tree line and in front of the harvester. So it's just win-win. So how can we reduce soil movement? Sweep or blow over ground covers or mulch. If you use a blower, set the angle of the blower horizontal to the soil surface. In the case of a sweeper, set the height to just above the soil level. And in both cases, use appropriate ground speed. On bare soil, blowers and sweepers will continue to contribute to soil movement. We can minimise soil loss by careful harvester setup and operation, and with a protective ground cover such as smother grass, we may be able to eliminate it altogether. <laughs>